And right now, an MBTA bus driver is undergoing drug and alcohol testing after a strange crash in Kenmore Square. A Boston parking supervisor was hit by the bus, and it happened while she was trying to ticket the bus driver. And right now, Emily Reamer is live for us in Kenmore Square with the very latest on this bizarre story. Emily. Bianca, this is a busy intersection right now at noon. Imagine how busy it is during rush hour. That intersection up there was shut down around 8.15 this morning when that MBTA bus hit four other cars and a parking supervisor with the Boston Transit Department. Boston police blocked off the left lane of Commonwealth Avenue for two hours this morning trying to figure out what happened. This is not a location that the bus should have been stopped in. Transit police say a parking supervisor tried to move the bus along. It was parked in a public way and blocking traffic. The supervisor was writing a ticket for the driver of the bus. When the bus pulled out, it hit four vehicles and the parking supervisor was hurt. Transit police talked to the bus driver at the scene and then led her away to be drug and alcohol tested per MBTA policy after an accident. Investigators will also examine the bus. So part of the investigation will be also, we'll, we'll take the bus back, it'll be impounded, and there'll be an inspection of the mechanics of the bus to make sure that all the equipment was working properly. So this MBTA bus was out of service when this happened. There were no passengers on board, and that parking supervisor is expected to be okay. Live in Kenmore Square, Emily Reamer, New Center 5. Seen it, no question about that. It started right over there. You see where the buses are? The bus was sitting in the travel lane here, the far left hand lane. The traffic enforcement officer tried to get it to move, ended up down here in this intersection. They came face to face, and it didn't end well. And police say the whole thing was caused by the bus driver who first wouldn't move and then wouldn't stop. When you have a multi ton bus coming at you and taking exception, the driver taking exception to you, to, to your actions as a public employee, um, it's extremely disheartening and it's extremely dangerous. That's the bus driver, 34-year-old Lataria Milton, trying to explain herself, but MBTA police had heard from multiple witnesses, including the traffic enforcement officer who was trying to get the bus to move. So the enforcement officer sees the bus stop. She drives right up alongside it in her van, pulls right up here, gives a little toot to the driver and says, move it along. The driver doesn't go for it. In fact, they had a conversation and it went downhill from there. When they were both at the red light, the driver got out of the BTD van to say, here's your ticket, put it on the windshield. At that time, um, the driver of the MBTA bus hit the gas, hit the officer and hit four vehicles. One of those other cars badly damaged, the enforcement officer escaped serious injury. Make no mistake, uh, this, this officer in, in has told me directly that you know, had this bus not hit a bus, be, not hit a vehicle before it hit her, this outcome would have been very different. In fact, she told him she believed she might have been killed. Lataria Milton will be arraigned tomorrow. The charges include assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. In this case, a bus. In Kenmore Square, I'm Jack Harper, News Center 5. Sky 5. Down in the street, a T-bus driver facing charges tonight after running down a parking enforcement officer trying to give her a ticket. And new tonight, Team 5 investigates is uncovering her driving past. The officer is just out of the hospital. The driver is in custody tonight. 11 minutes of nonstop news begins with Sean Kelly. He's live at T-Police headquarters tonight, Sean. Heather, the bus driver, was tested for drugs and alcohol, but she spent the better part of the day here in a cell at Transit Police. And we just saw one of her family members walk into the police station here to drop off some clothes where she'll wear them in court tomorrow, where she's going to be charged with assault and battery with a deadly weapon, a bus. Milton's break time bagel and coffee were interrupted, according to witnesses. Originally, she didn't move until the officer wrote up the ticket. Then she tried to drive off, according to the police. Boston parking enforcement officers described where their supervisor was standing to give a ticket, only it was this bus coming at her. Witnesses said MBTA driver Lataria Milton accelerated in a ticket rage, hitting the city worker and slamming several cars in her path. The Team 5 investigates has learned that Milton's license was active, but she would not have been able to renew it because of unpaid parking tickets, toll violations and excise tax. In 2008, she was involved in a crash in Roxbury where she was more than 50 percent at fault. Her license was suspended in 2006 when she failed to complete a safety course. It was reinstated five months later. So it appears Milton's going to spend the night in this holding cell. There is good news about the parking officer. We're told that she is out of the hospital tonight, pretty badly bruised, but with some rest, she's going to be okay.
Live in Boston, Sean Kelly, News Center 5. Suspended but out from behind bars. The MBTA driver charged with plowing her bus into a parking enforcement officer in court today. News Center 5's Jack Harper is live in Canton where the victim lives. Jack? We are outside the home of Vicki Kilduff. Her mother's house actually lives. She is resting up this afternoon. While she started resting up, that bus driver was leaving court. Lataria Milton left court refusing to talk about it. Her uncle was wondering why the transportation supervisor didn't just send the ticket. Why wouldn't she just move the bus? No, why, if she had it done electronically, why would she chase the bus down? No, why wouldn't she move the bus initially? Did she? No, they ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just saying, why would she chase the bus? One thing leads to another. Think about it. Transportation supervisor Vicki Kilduff was in that white van with two colleagues when she asked Milton to move her bus out of an active travel lane. She refused and allegedly drove toward Kilduff, hitting her, the van, and three other cars. She's going through a tough time right now, and, uh, you know, with the love and the support of her family, you know, we're certain that, you know, we'll help her through it. He says his sister Vicky was knocked to the pavement and believes it was intentional. He approached the bus from the front. So, uh, I mean, her characterization, it would be impossible for her not to have been seen. It would be impossible for, not, uh, for the driver not to have intended this. T inspectors found no problems with the bus, and they do have video surveillance, which backs the story Vicky gave them when she reported the first incident. And by the way, when you're talking about the rain, Harvey, next time, you might want to take this camera. In Canton, I'm Jack Harper, News Center 5. Gotta go.